Unraveling the Mystery of Cold Crash, a Guide to English Idioms. Hello, dear viewers. Today, we're going to dive into the chilly waters of English idioms and phrases. If you've ever wondered what someone means when they say they're going to cold crash something, then you're in the right place. Don't worry, it's not as cold as it sounds. Idioms like this one can be confusing, but they're also fun to learn and can add flavor to your English conversations. So, let's warm up to the concept of cold crash and understand it inside out. The term cold crash actually comes from the world of brewing beer. It's a technique used by brewers to clarify beer before it's bottled. After fermentation, the beer is cooled down rapidly to near freezing temperatures. This causes residual yeast and other particles to settle at the bottom, making the beer clearer and cleaner tasting. It's an important part of the brewing process for those who take their beer seriously. But how did a brewing term end up in everyday language? Well, sometimes phrases from specific fields make their way into general use. In a broader sense, to cold crash, something can mean to stop it quickly or put an abrupt end to a process. For example, if a company cold crashes a project, it means they've decided to stop it swiftly, probably because it's not yielding the desired results. Let's look at how to use cold crash in a sentence. After seeing the negative feedback, the marketing team decided to cold crash the ad campaign. The government cold crashed the proposal due to public outcry. Remember, while the phrase can be used metaphorically in various contexts, it's still not as common as other idioms. It retains a bit of its original, technical flavor. I hope this has shed some light on the phrase, cold crash, for you. It's a great example of how English is constantly evolving, with terms from hobbies and professions adding color to everyday speech. Now, the next time you hear someone talking about cold crashing something, you'll know that they're not talking about turning down the thermostat. Thank you for watching, and if this video was helpful, please consider liking and subscribing for more English language insights. Stay curious, and keep learning!